All right, I'm coming. Hey, come on in. Larry, what the fuck is going on? I just, uh, I just need to talk to you. It's past midnight, dude. I was in bed. I just didn't know what was going on. I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's just that, uh... What is it? What can be so important? Well, it can't wait. It's just... Okay, what? Come on, what is it? Uh, look, this thing has been building up for months. Larry, you're starting to scare me here. I know, I know, I'm sorry. It's just that I've thought of a different million ways to tell you this, and I just haven't been able to. Oh, look. All right, here goes. Remember about six months ago, we were all at George's party? Yeah, Super Bowl? Uh, yeah. Right, okay. Anyways. Hey, Mel. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I just needed something, so, uh, it sounded quiet, so I let myself in. It's past midnight, Mel. Yeah, well, it was... I heard voices, so I, I, I just let myself in. Uh, uh, this is my friend Joseph. Uh, Joseph, this is my, uh, neighbor Mel. It's good to know you. Nice to meet you. Um, so what do you want, Mel? Yeah, uh, well, you know, you told me that anytime I needed something to just come on down here and, uh, well, I'm making a homemade pizza up there and, uh, oh, I just, you know, I, I, I used the key that you gave me when, you know, you told me to take care of the place when I was out of town. That's, the, I, that's the kind of person I am, you know, I mean, I take care of things, people's apartments, feed their fish, <laughs> take their dogs out, you know, it's not, anything needs to be done, I'm more than happy to do it. Yeah, Mel, I mean, sure, whatever you need, just go ahead and get it. It's just that Joseph and I were kind of having an important talk. Oh, okay, well, hey, let me, let me do what I have to do to get out of your hair. Sure. Okay. Okay. Come on. No, man, wait until you leave. What difference does it make? It matters to me. I don't think it's any of his business. Hey, Larry! I can't find it! Coming! Sure, I'll keep your utensils handy. I don't know how you can find anything in here. What do you need, Cal? Cheese grater. Oh, I swear to God, I look there. All right, listen. Just what the hell. At the party at George's, I go into the kitchen. The minute hey, I... Larry. Do your Woody Allen. What? Come on, do your Woody Allen. My Woody Allen? <laughs> I don't feel like doing Woody Allen. No, come on. He, he's got to see it. It's hilarious. you got to see it. No. Yeah, Mel, I don't want to do it. No, no, really, really. I just, no, just, please. Just once. Just you, please great... just... Oh, come on. I don't care that I do a good Woody Allen. Really? Can you just go, please? Ah, Mel! Uh... Look, Larry obviously doesn't have the balls to say it, so I will. We're trying to have a very important conversation here, and you keep interrupting, so if you would take your cheese grater and get out of here, then we could get back to what we <laughs> No, 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 really. Come on, just do your Woody Allen one time. Mel, I'm not some sort of performing <laughs> monkey. No, come on, you, oh, look, you want to see his Woody Allen, don't you? I don't want to see the Woody Allen. Come on, just do it, please. One time. If I do my Woody Allen impersonation, will you please leave? Yes, please. I'll leave. If I do the goddamn Woody Allen. All right, all right. You know, this is crazy. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to have a conversation with a friend of mine in Goma Pio Anthers, you know, looking for a cheese grater. And it's, you know, it's crazy. And, you know, now he's juggling it up on the sofa next to me like some sort of stupid moron. <laughs> You're talking about me, huh? Okay. Come on. You've had your Woody Allen. Let's go. Come on now. We gotta talk, so, you know. Gomer Pyle? Who's Gomer Pyle? Look, Mel, I'm sorry if I insulted you. Really, I didn't mean it. No, 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 that's no problem, you know, because I'm not leaving anymore now, okay? I mean, just who do you think you are? You know what? I'm always around here doing little favors for oh, you. Oh, Mel, 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 look, I'm sorry if I insulted you. This is the okay? best I get, huh? 
You know, I mean, I come over here, and I never ask you for so a favor. You do and come over here. While I come over, a and I much. ask for a little favor. It's a big deal. No, but like, I get a cheese grater, right? And all of a sudden, it's a big thing, right? You don't want to well, push me. Let me tell me. you something. You don't want to push me. I don't think me. it's a problem because the cheese grater. Is yes, it's a cheese grater. It's a cheese. What? Will you please just give me five minutes, please, Mo? Please, I need to talk to Joseph. Please. Hey. <laughs> Are you all right? Dude, what got into him, for God's sake? I can't believe it. Dude, God. what is going on? What is, what is wrong with you? You know what? I mean, Are I've never been in a fist fight in my life. Was it me? I, no, no. Oh, fuck your wife. It wasn't you. Larry, I'm not married. You know that. Oh. What? I fucked your wife at the Super Bowl party. I've been trying to tell you. Tell me you're shitting me, Larry. Tell me you're shitting me. I'm not shitting you, Joseph. It was in the third quarter, I think. The pantry. We did it standing up. She was all over me. She's an attractive woman, and I mean, I know I should have. Oh, you piece of shit! <laughs> hey, hey, you guys! Absolutely, okay? When someone is fucking your wife, the only obvious thing to do is to beat the shit out of them. Now get the hell out of here! Look, Joseph, I told you, okay? You see, this is the I didn't need to tell you. I didn't have to tell you. Okay, but I you did. know, I pulled him off you would you from beating your fucking no, face. You wouldn't have done this it. This is the thanks that I get. You, know, okay, so you wouldn't have told me. That's the appreciation that I get. Here, well, thank you very much. I very much appreciate your bullshit. Larry. Just because you told me doesn't mean that I have to forgive you. Joseph. Come on, Joseph. I know that when I get home, I'm going to wish that I had punched you a few more times. Well, I, uh, I guess you want to be left alone here, so... So, uh, I'm sorry. Unbelievable. <clears throat> I forgot the cheese grater. 